Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. Let's continue, shall we? Let's go work for Louisa. Let's go find her, see what she's up to. Hopefully nothing bad. Seems to be the uh, best person to start with, I would wager. Anyway, it's been quite fun uh, giving it to these Mexican government officials. Very much enjoyable. Now, <clears throat> only thing is, I guess we've got to do some work for Abraham as well. Maybe. Who is the other person on the map? Yeah, it is. It's Abraham. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he seems to be a bit of a... Well... <laughs> He seems to have his head up his ass a little bit. Let's just say that much. Now, on the flip side, let's be balanced. Luisa seems to be, well, uh, completely infatuated with this guy. However, I think he's kind of using her. Let's be honest. I mean, he doesn't seem to even remember her name. Yet, she is completely head over heels for this guy. That's definitely not going to end badly. You know, if I couldn't remember my girlfriend's name, well, I'm sure there would be chaos ensuing with that. Anyway, hopefully, we can go uh, see what she wants. Hopefully it doesn't involve Abraham too, too deeply. Father, oh dear, so I say. Señor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antilas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Uh -huh. Oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston. My father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Oof. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Louisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. You know I'll do whatever I can, but I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family. Just because. Please. Good actions make you a good man. <sighs> Guilt. But I will help you. Out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. We are being heavily guilted into this. Anyway, guys, we will catch up with that in a second. And we're back. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think we'll ride shotgun. That seems to be a smarter thing to do. After all, no doubt we're going to have to defend. Oh, definitely don't want the fireballs. 
Although, the semi-auto could be a good shout. Let's hope so. So, I like the way nobody really cares too much about uh, our problems. Why do you doubt our revolution so much, Mr. Marston? I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. That if we spill enough blood, we can change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Freedom. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. <laughs> that must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. Yeah, she's definitely uh, drinking the Kool-Aid. I'd rather listen to old John there. Thank you again for helping my mother and Miranda to escape. If only I'd sent my father as well. You did everything you could. They know nothing of my father's death. I feel terrible. But it isn't safe for them here anymore. After we win, they can return to a new Mexico. What about you? I will stay and fight. I am ready to die if necessary. Emilio too. We are a close family. Do you have children, Mr. Marston? I have a son at home and a daughter in heaven. Is he looking after your wife? I hope so. He's not much younger than you, but I don't know. He's still young. We tried to protect him, give him a gentler childhood than what we had. Guess I failed at that. What is his name? Jack. Jack Marston. I ain't been much of a father. We tried to hide the bad from him growing up, but he saw things he shouldn't. convoy will be coming from the east. We're going to steal their supplies? No, destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. You have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. <laughs> because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. Well... <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? On the road. Please tell them where to place it. Oh god. Waiting up above, watching for the wagon. Okay. Follow me, gentlemen. Vale. <coughs> uh yeah, cuz uh We know what we're doing. Uh show them where to bury explosives on the road. Well. 
Uh, press Y to mark a location for the dynamite riggers to plant the dynamite on the road. Uh, the length of the wire for the riggers is limited and can't be too far from the detonator. Okay, time. we'll put one ear in. I guess. By keeping the dynamite spread out on the road, you'll have greater chance of destroying more of the convoy. Yep. In here. Let's put it under the bridge. And let's see if we can't nuke them. Here's good. One dynamite left. I don't know if this is spread out enough, but we're gonna find out. The location is not visible from the detonator. Alright. So in that case, we'll put one back here. Right here. here. Right at the crossroads. I'm sure this is going to be fine. Absolutely certain. After all, I am an explosive scientist. Honest. Uh, Luisa, uh, this might work. I am glad you are here to help us. They are coming. Get ready, John. Well, I'm not so convinced. But... Look. We're going to kill a lot of men today, so press RT to detonate the active dynamite, to change the active dynamite with... Okay. Yeah, we're going to do it one at a time. What we should do um, is probably take out the lead first and then take out the rear. And then they won't be able to back off. At least, that's my theory. They are quite spread out, but actually, this could work. Right, so we want to be looking at that one. And then RT to push the detonator. Gotcha. So... That wagon got through. No, it hasn't got anywhere. Alright, so scratch that plan then. There we go, we got it. We got it. That worked reasonably well. It would have been cleaner if you let me stick to my plan. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it would work. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. All right. I'll do my best to return the favor. <laughs> I mean, that was a slaughter. That was actually a really well laid out mission. I like the way the map actually highlighted what explosives you had ready. That was really good design, actually. Okay, so let's go back to Luisa. Let's get another mission done. Uh, depending on how long this mission is, we might call it then. Just because we've got a busy day. Oh, hang on. Is it even worth harvesting up these guys? Maybe. I think when it comes to Red Dead 2, I might try and install a mod that cuts down on the animations. If there is such a thing. Just because... Um, and I still haven't decided if we're going to do Red Dead 2 on the Xbox or the PC. PC for awesome frame rates. But the Xbox version, um, well, I already have the Xbox version. And it is very, very good on the Xbox. Apart from the fact it's 30 frames a second. And Rockstar never felt like patching it. Bless them. I guess they don't make enough money. Okay. There's no point skinning horses. Literally worthless. I'm not sure, actually, if skinning horses is as worthless in the second game. But then the way you do the hunting in the second game is completely different. You can't just um, have an entire bag full of animal parts. I'm pretty sure you can only actually have one animal skin and one animal carcass at a time. 
Um, they really, really kind of went full simulation with it. Which, I, you know, I do get it. I understand why they did that. Because it's kind of like big and fancy and huffing their own fumes. But from a gameplay standpoint, it's... Did we really just go... All the way around, I guess so. From a gameplay standpoint, it's just really slow, monotonous. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. By the time I actually start recording it, I would have uh, played through the game once anyway. Which is going to be a humongous undertaking on its own. But I'm down for it. It is a much, much more expanded game compared to this. This really feels like an empty, hollow experience in comparison. Well, I would say this feels like a more linear experience than the second game. As I said, the second game is more of a, a full-on Wild West simulator and less of a... kind of less of a video game, if that makes sense. And it does make me slightly concerned for Red Dead Redemption 3, which apparently has been confirmed to be on the cards. Right. Wow, she's really that far away, huh? All right, we're almost there. Okay, we're kind of riding Midnight pretty hard. And I'm not going to promise to 100% Red Dead Redemption 2 because, my God, is that a multi-hundred hour escapade. Come on, easy up there. I remember hunting some of the harder um, legendary animals in that game. John! John! Thank God you have come. That wretched animal that Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulcro. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Sounds fun. Hurry, I don't know how much time we have. We've got time. So, yeah. yeah. And I remember, I think I was hunting like a legendary bear or something. And, <clears throat> for instance, you go to where it's supposed to be. And you've got to lay in wait, and you've got to bait it, and you've got to do all this, like, cool hunting simulation stuff. But I ended up waiting, like, a couple of hours. And I mean actual hours. Real life hours. And the bear didn't show up. So I checked the forums and read it, and they're like, yeah, well, that's basically how you hunt. And I was like, really? I mean, it's cool for immersion, but... Rockstar is you're supposed to be making a video game here. But anyway. Enough about that. I did hear they patched a lot of things and changed a lot of things. Um, and I didn't play it until, uh, you know, last time I played the game was like a couple of weeks after it came out. So we shall see. And back when I had really awful internet, I did try to play it... Uh, when I was on holiday a few years ago, but it was like a hundred gig download, even though I've got the discs. And it's like, yeah, fuck that noise. Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. You don't want to give them a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. You are waiting for your lead, Ooh. I thought we killed him. Yeah, that's rough. No, we killed the other guy, didn't we? The big guy. Alright, we're going to capture this bastard alive. Alright, let's get to work. Come on, up and over. Up and over? Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah, I think they tightened up the controls a lot in the second game. I think. 
Because this game's kind of aged. At least the movement, the way the character actually feels to play. It's kind of aged like milk. It's got its rock star feeling to it. That weighty rage physics engine. Which is really cool at times. And then at other times, well, you get stuck on nothing. Right, let's go get this bastard. Ooh. Don't you worry. We've got this guy. Come back to Papa, you piece of shit. Oh, you are so screwed. You're angry. I can understand that. A little bit more than angry, Malado. Alright. I am begging you. Come on, you sack of shit. He's got just enough time to shit himself before we uh, finish him off. I actually enjoy hunting down these rebels. Uh, not the rebels, the uh, the government. We don't hunt the rebels anymore. That was bad. Of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? Please, I'll do anything. You know what? This is their fight. What are you waiting for? He's all yours, fellas. I got what I need. Come on, now we find your friend. Yeah. I want to loot him. Okay. I'm getting. I'm getting. Thank you, compadre. It should really have been you. I don't like to kill a man on his knees, even if he does deserve it. Go, keep moving. Yeah, there's very little honor in that. He most likely will. <laughs> You know, I think John Marston is like a really, really underrated uh, video game character. He's just such a badass. And he knows he's a piece of shit as well. I'm looking forward to getting to the second game though, just to explore the backstory. Because John is in uh, the first game. He's a non-player character. He's just a random member of the camp. And I didn't realize how much he references that. We was friends once, long time ago. Not anymore. Old friends make their worst enemies. They do. You're telling me this place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? Hmm. Oh. Okay. I guess we've been set up once again. Well, that's fine. We can thin the numbers. Just a little bit. Or it's getting shot in the back. <laughs> These guys are having a bad day. Especially him. Blew his nutsack off. Alright. Come on. Let's get another magazine in there. Ooh, oh, I love this gun. Hey, you lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? Javier Escuela. 
He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shut up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. The captain de Santa said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> thanks, lady. <laughs> well, at least we made her day better. Um, well. I guess our princess is in another castle, huh? Still, we can harvest up some corpses. Corpse money is the best money. People don't want to steal corpse money off you. Due to the stink, you understand. But we're not proud enough to uh, leave it to the roaches. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, that's pretty much all we have time for. Um, so, I think, yeah, we're on 26 minutes now. So, I think what we're going to do here, guys, we're going to leave it here. Uh, it's going to be about four days until I can play this again, unfortunately. <laughs> Such is the way of work. But, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And, as always, until next time.